Okay, moving on to stress and the immune system. What is the immune system, Joe? A complex network of interacting components that provides the body's defences against infection by pathogens. And can you tell me what undervigilant means? The immune system fails by letting infections enter the body. And overvigilant? The immune system itself causes illness. Um, stress may be associated with both types of immune dysfunction. Okay, so those are just some technical terms that you might need to define uh, in the exam. So here we have a study. It's called the Common Cold Study. Uh, basically, we had 394 participants who filled out questionnaires on stressful life experiences. The participants exposed were exposed to the Common Cold virus, and then they were assessed for their infection level uh, after seven days. It found that the chance of developing a cold significantly increased for those with a high stress index score. So life stress and negative emotions uh, goes to a reduced and suppressed immune system. That's, that's what they found. Uh, stress index score, we will talk about that in a few moments, in case you're wondering what that is. Joe, evaluate the study. So a positive was that um, the possibility of developing a cold was significantly correlated with experiencing negative events in the preceding days. That's preceding, not proceeding. Um, another positive is there was good protection from harm. There were medical considerations taken into account. Uh, some negatives. It was not measured directly, so it's not scientific or falsifiable evidence. Um, and it's a correlational study, so it's, it's um, difficult to establish cause and effect. It is, and I do apologise, I slightly lied when I said we were going to talk about the stress uh, index score. Basically, that's just a score saying, obviously, the higher it is, the more stressed you are, uh, based on different things going on with you. Uh, we do, however, in the next uh, episode, talk about the social readjustment rating scale, but that's it's a little a similar bit different. Thing. It is. Okay, we also have a meta-analysis to talk about. This was 293 studies of different stressors and their impact on the immune system. Number one, acute stressors. These are the short-term stressors. Uh, they boost and upregulate immunity. They prepare for fight-or-flight response in an adaptive manner. Chronic stressors, uh, which are long-term, reduce, uh, down-regulate immunity, cause the body to be on alert... Um, constantly and stress systems are activated for too long leading to infection and illness yeah they can be so if you have a long term stressor they're probably yeah it's not good so then they concluded that stress leads to global immunosuppression that's a technical term learn it uh, positive evaluation of this just quickly it's a meta-analysis which means it's very reliable and very representative of findings since it's using so many studies yep 293 to be precise and that concludes a rather short but information uh, rich rich even rich <laughs> is fine by me uh, episode four stress related illness and the immune system and we will move on to stress in everyday life in the next episode